Hey everybody, Ryan here at E-Trailer. Today on our 2022 Jayco Greyhawk Motorhome, we're gonna be checking out the Roadmaster Falcon all-terrain tow bar. Before we get too carried away, kind of checking the tow bar out uh, itself, I figured it'd be useful just to kind of refresh ourselves and go over the main components that we're gonna to need to uh, use to pull our towed vehicle down the road in the first place. So there's gonna be a total of five main components needed to flat tow you down the road safely. First one's gonna be your base plate, and that's gonna provide us with a solid and reliable connection point. That way we can hook our tow bar up. And the tow bar is gonna be the second component, and this is gonna be the physical link that actually connects the front of your Honda to the back of your motorhome. The third main component is going to be safety cables, and these are there in the event of an unlikely disconnect. These are gonna keep everything paired together. The fourth main component is going to be tow bar wiring, and what this is going to do is transfer the lighting functions from the back of your coach to the back of your SUV, uh, keeping you safe and legal. And last but not least, the fifth main component is going to be a supplemental braking system, and what this is going to do is apply the brakes in your CRV whenever you hit the brakes in your motorhome, uh, helping bring you to a more predictable and complete stop. When it comes to tow bars, this one is a pretty popular option, actually. We see quite a few of these uh, come through here at E-Trailer, and I can see why a lot of people go with them. You know, it kind of has all the uh, must-have features, uh, at least in my opinion. And um, it's, it's good to have those because it's going to make your experience uh, that much better. You know, you're not going to have to struggle and fight with your tow bar every time you want to hook it up or disconnect it. And I've also heard real good things about how this one uh, pulls, so how it's going to uh, pull your vehicle down the road behind the motorhome. They call that tracking. And this one is relatively long, and so what that's going to do is get a decent amount of space in between your vehicle and your motorhome. And what that's going to help do is make it responsive. You know, it's going to track behind your motorhome well, and it's going to make it easier to go around tight turns and things like that. So. Uh, definitely not as nerve-wracking whenever you're going through the gas station and all those uh, tight spots, you know, it'll give you a little more confidence. Whatever tow bar you decide to go with, uh, there's one feature I strongly recommend, and that is make sure it is a non-binding type tow bar. And this tow bar does have that feature, and more or less what that means is it's going to be easy to disconnect. So if any of you have experienced a binding type tow bar, you know what I'm talking about here. Um, if you haven't experienced that, something you really don't want to, what can happen is when you get to where you're going and you wanna disconnect your vehicle to take it for a spin, a lot of times what can happen, these arms can get in a bind, all right? And it can make it really difficult to, to disconnect it from your base plate. Everything is so tight, uh, you really have to fight it. And if that happens with this tow bar here, um, not really a huge deal actually. All you're gonna have to do is pull up on these levers. So there'll be some tension in the arm there and you'll have to uh, release that tension with the lever. It'll pop up, it'll become free and make it really easy to uh, get the ends disconnected. So save your back, you know, don't make sense to get a binding type tow bar and just have to you know, struggle with it all the time. Um, this one really does make things a lot more straightforward. The way it disconnects and gets connected is with a pin here and pull this one out this one out and that's how it separates so really simple stuff there um, this tow bar is going to work with just about all the Roadmaster base plates um, you can probably uh, use it with many other different types of base plates a lot of times I'll sell an adapter here you can change this end uh, if you want to use this tow bar with a different type of base plate. So it gives you a couple options there. When you're ready to put it back, you take your pen, slide that through. Something that I checked out the other day, actually pretty neat. There's pens that are um, coated and they have a big handle on them. And it, it really kind of sped things up. You know, it was really easy to get a handle on everything and pull it out. So um, if that's something you're interested in, you know, you definitely check it out. I don't think you'd be disappointed with them. And just something I wanted to mention. This tow bar does have uh, side channels here, which is this piece right there. And what that's gonna allow you to do is take your safety cables and your electrical cables and run them through those channels. I think it looks really cool. You know, it just keeps everything up off the ground and uh, a little more organized. 
So if you do end up going with this tow bar or any tow bar that has channels for that matter, make sure that you get the safety cables that uh, are straight, that way you can run them through there. And the same holds true with the electrical cable. So whenever you're over the road, uh, you know, storage is, is something that's really important. You don't have a ton of space in a motorhome. Uh, with that said, you know, it's, it's nice. We can actually store this right on the back of our motorhome. You can do this temporarily or even permanently. So once you disconnect it, you'll just fold it up. And when these things are brand new, everything's a little tight. Once you get a few miles on them, they'll kind of loosen up a little bit. But this one's right out of the box but it'll lock into place like that and then you can fold it down to either side. And uh, so it makes it really convenient. You know, if you're someone that uh, is planning on keeping this on here for quite some time, probably not a bad idea to get a locking hitch pin. That way it's secured to your motorhome as well as a cover or a bag. That way it'll just help keep some of the, uh, some of the weather off of it. So at the end of the day, a great intermediate tow bar, you know, it's gonna give you all those uh, must have type features and pull your vehicle down the road uh, really well, which ultimately, you know, how it feels when you're driving is the most important thing to me and probably uh, holds true for many others as well. So heard a lot of good things about this setup and it'll definitely get the job done. You know, if you were to ask me, would I put this on my own uh, setup? Absolutely, would not doubt it at all. With that said, you know, this, this isn't the only option uh, by any means. There's some tow bars that have a few more bells and whistles, um, and if that's what you're into, uh, one I really like is the Roadmaster Nighthawk. Uh, it's super lightweight, um, non-binding, and, and does a lot of cool different things. So uh, if that piques your interest, definitely uh, make sure to check that out as well. And that'll finish up our look at of the Roadmaster Falcon all-terrain tow bar on our 2022 Jayco Greyhawk Motorhome.